What is going on my friends? Teddy Lim here from Project Limitless. I'm actually out here in the west side of downtown Austin. Beautiful, beautiful area. Uh, unfortunately, I, as you can see or probably could hear, it's, uh, it's raining. Cats and dogs. So uh, I set out to actually take a video today uh, right next to the river uh, because water is the source of all life. Therefore, it's also the source of all information and inspiration uh, and unfortunately um, it's raining really strong uh, but we're warriors right so we won't let rain just like let us stop us from like doing what we set out to do so anyway what I wanted to talk to you guys about today is uh, one little tip that's actually gonna captivate your audience enough so that they'll be able to listen to you all throughout the while that you're actually sharing your message with them right and uh, it's really called the open loop and uh, what it is is it's a little technique that a lot of authors and movie writers and screenwriters use uh, to actually uh, sort of like hook a reader's mind or an audience's mind or a watcher's mind uh, to actually stay until the very end of a story or a movie and uh, there isn't a more well-known or popular uh, method or way that this is executed, uh, at least in recent memory or recent times, than uh, the, the TV show called Breaking Bad, right? So if you're a Breaking Bad fan, uh, fan like, this, like this video and share it. <laughs> but uh, basically what an open loop is, it's... It's 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 like a it's like a splinter in your head, right? It's like a it's like a, an itch that you you have to you can't scratch, that is actually gonna force you. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to watch the whole movie, or you're gonna have to watch the whole episode, or listen to the whole song, or read the whole article in order for, or in order for you to find out what that is. And it's usually a curiosity piece, right? So. Uh, for those of you who have been watching Breaking Bad, uh, actually the, the fifth season right now, uh, there is an episode and you know, if, if, you've, if you haven't seen the fifth uh, season yet, uh, disclaimer, this is going to be a, uh, a sort of like, um, uh, what's that word for it? <laughs> it's going to be a, uh, uh, a spoiler, yeah, spoiler alert, okay? So spoiler alert. Basically, there's this episode on the fifth season where there's this there's this big tarantula, right? Imagine a big spider crawling on the ground of the desert where there's basically nothing. There's practically no life, no nothing in this desert. Imagine this. Picture this in your head. There's a big tarantula walking, right, on the ground, on the sand. And... Um, as that happens, there's this, there's this, uh, you know, motocross biker, you know, that's, you know, biking all around, uh, all along the scene, you know, as they, as they pan to it, right? And there's this little spider, right? So it, it, it goes back and forth, transfer from back and forth onto this scene. The camera goes back and forth and pans on it. And basically what ends up happening is, you know, your brain starts to picture this and it starts to imagine, you know, what does... What does the spider have to do with this uh, motocross biker? All right. Anyways, so at this opening scene of this episode, this this uh, the biker goes on to stop onto the desert, in the middle of the desert, grabs a b large big bottle from his jacket, right, his jean jacket, and goes out to grab this spider and put it in, right. So. It's it, it, the scene and the theme, the musical theme uh, in in that particular scene. It's very ominous, right? Because obviously, what the, what do spiders usually equate to, right? Fear, uh, the occult, right? The mysterious being with eight limbs, right? So, anyways, uh, it plays on your mind, uh, and and then right as the kid puts the the, the little spider back in his big bottle on his on his on his uh, jacket the scene cuts right and then you hear the 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 uh, the, the theme 
the theme song from Breaking Bad, you know, slide guitar and bottles and congas and whatever, right? And so, you know, you're, you're, what, did, what this does is that your mind starts to imagine, like, what the heck does that have to do with anything, right? So you're thinking, you know, is somebody going to get bit by a spider? Or what does this kid have to do? Why are they showing him going all around, you know, the desert, New Mexico, right? Well, obviously, that's where uh, Breaking Bad is uh, set. And, uh, and you're left with no choice but to actually watch the whole episode, right? So I'm not going to reveal to you in this video what that uh, what that particular um, uh, what that particular episode or what that particular scene meant, but now you're just gonna have to watch that episode, right? <laughs> so that's an example of an open loop, right? An open loop is uh, is a technique, like I said, that actually writers, authors, public speakers use uh, in order to captivate an audience, and uh, you know, there obviously there's a there's a payoff to it, right? It's a it's a it's a very good speaking technique if you could apply it at the right at the right time at the right setting, uh, and the same goes for movies, all right? So as I see that the sun is shining and that the clouds have dissipated and uh, that the rain has uh, ceased to uh, come down like cats and dogs, uh, I'm gonna try to go out of this uh, of this car right here. And uh, take some more videos for you and uh, show you what uh, the west side of Austin looks like. This is, I would equate this to be um, kind of like the Bellevue sort of like area of Seattle. It's very nice. There's a lot of new buildings, a lot of new construction, uh, definitely a lot of posh stores. And um, yeah, so you're just going to have to watch the next video, all right? <laughs> Anyways, guys, this was fun. And uh, go ahead and follow me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash learn do teach and uh, follow me on YouTube at projectlimitlessinc.com. All right, guys, talk to you soon. Cheers.